chairs are going to work real hard for you this morning. So a round of applause for all of our wonderful committee chairs. They have done the most work so far in prepping for today. And so committee chairs, you are ready. We are excited for you. Um, do not let parliamentary procedure get in the way of stifling good conversation. Um, go ahead, Abby. And then lastly, we have some wonderful ROCAPA volunteers from our junior class that are here to help us. So if you see some people wandering around with checklists, they are helping us. If you need something, you can ask them and they will come get Mr. Jones, myself, or Mr. Tedeschi. So a few important... ...in the rows, so you're going to be seated with Democrats on the right-hand side facing the stage, or left-hand side facing the stage, excuse me. Republicans, you guys are going to be on the right-hand side when you vote. You're going to be seated like by committee. Uh, whoever's seated on the aisle seat for Republicans, you're going to be basically our deputy whips. You're going to be helping Corollas count votes. And so when Corollas comes to you, you're just going to read your votes to him and he's going to bring them up to the speakers. Uh, Dylan is going to be coming to the committee chairs. Committee chairs, when you guys come back in in the afternoon session, you should need to make sure that you sit in the aisle seats uh, and you will hand. <laughs> Can you say that in English? Like, if other countries militarize space, then can we, like, as a defense? Yeah. Or, like, is this contingent on the fact that no one is militarizing like, space? Mm. Other countries are militarizing space, and we just militarize That's a good that. question. That should be in your amendments. Uh, but, what? Yeah. <laughs> you have questions and amendments? <laughs> Whatever. Um, let's say another country, even though most of them already said that they didn't want to do it, let's say that another country like China or Russia did launch a weapon in the space. That would mean our bill right here would become defunct, and we can do as deemed necessary. Okay, so go on. Any further questions? But, oh. So you're making a bill, but if another country breaks the bill, the bill no longer works? That is how Congress works, ma'am. Well, democracy. Next. Can you speak up, Congress? Yes. How much funding, like, do you have a rough estimate of how much it would cost? A rough estimate of not putting stuff in space, about zero dollars. Okay, why is it, like, funding? Why is it funding? Why do you need somebody to fund it? Shut Is it going to be, like, taxed on people? It will be taxed on people. So, yeah. let's... Huh? Not y'all are gonna get attacked. Let's say there's let's say there's a group of people, right? Let's call them terrorist A. Let's say terrorist A. But you can't only Let me finish. Let's say terrorist A, this group, launched weapons into space, hypothetically. We would tax terrorist A. Why would you say where's the money to tax someone who's not part of the country? Whoa! I feel attacked. How the hell would why would terrorist A pay money? So you mean like you like if somebody you know, you would have to pull the tax on us, so we can buy it. That's like taxing people in jail. Like, <laughs> 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 who wants to do the opening remarks for a public statement? Like, someone has to give a one minute opening remarks. I'll do it. Okay. Regarding our position. Okay, do you mind if I send out for the opening remarks regarding the proposed resolution? Is this what I just did? Yeah. Somebody else? No. Representative Wheeler are up. Take your position. Uh, my position in this matter of bill is I, which is I support this bill. So, <laughs> any disposition? No? Sounds good. Yes. Oh. Such a Republican so, thing. Treaty of the outer space bans nuclear weapons, and there aren't really other weapons we can put up there that make sense. So there's not really a need for this bill, and we don't really have. There's no like incentive to make us make weapons into space, so we don't really need a bit like a ban on weapons in space. Oh, can I add a counter argument? After. Oh, um, if we banned it for our country, it's going to make our country look weak and allow other countries to just militarize space, and then we're going to be in threat. What's your name? Shannon. <laughs> nice to meet you, Shannon. Now can I counter argue? And 20 seconds. If they yield yeah. their time. Yeah. Are y'all yielding your time? Yeah. You may.
Thank you. Because a scientific fact is if you put these weapons up in space, they still won't be able to fire at speed to damage the satellite. They will just be a waste of space, thus damaging our atmosphere. Therefore, it's pointless of having them. So even if another country threw one up, it won't do anything. Um, are there any questions for the amendment proposal? Can you repeat? How should I write that? I couldn't hear. It's not my fault. If another country acts first to weaponize space, then we can respond. Oh, so it's what I thought. Yeah. So I have no questions. Is that just like basically kill like pointless? Because we're going to respond anyway. It just means it changes when we do it. It doesn't change the fact that we're doing it. I think it's more just to like the like topic of it. Like, we're saying like we shouldn't be doing this, but we also just need to recognize that we do have to do that. Congressman Reed has been so I feel like that would depend on um, like what weapons we really use and like how serious the problem is. Like if it's just like a satellite that might be used fine, it's like okay, maybe we'll check it out. Since it's like um, <laughs> then like maybe we should like really work on it. Oh,
and to stop the nation, we need to take better. As a nation, we need to protect the innocent carbonates that are surviving inside of Mother's Day in order to further grow and better our future generation. Thank you, Representative Kearns. I'm yielded to committee members to be able to ask questions about my statements or established positions. Are there any committee members with questions about the resolution? Hi. So, my question is, what if the parent of the unborn child has health issues that could either kill the baby or kill them? So what if it's the wait, I can respond. Okay, so what if it's the mother's life in danger? That's threatening to another human's life, so that's when the uh, medical abortion can be performed because it's saving the mother's life. But if it's just out of not wanting a child and it has no medical effect on either one of them, but that doesn't include if like the baby's gonna be born with special needs or that scenario, because that's choosing that you don't want to help raise a child. Yeah, my name is Rebecca. So you said that also this like psychological part, or is it just physical? Well, psychological one account because then you can give your baby up for adoption, which it's not threatening to your life as necessarily. And then we also something I had in it is if you need more help, there there needs to be like better programs implemented implemented throughout the country to help mothers. Um, so how about men? Like you mean if the so the woman has to keep the child, the men have to pay for like provide the child. Are men allowed to divorce their wives because of the child? Are they allowed to take care of the child? Can or is it just only in response to women? Well, the men are responsible for their own child because they are the father, so they need to either help provide for the child or raise the child. That's what I'm asking. Yes. Because there's a lot of like people who bail out on child support. No, so and that's something that needs that to like as well. Child support needs to be paid. It's like their child. Will they be thrown in jail? Will they be like having to be done? Well that's not a part of the abortion act. But that should be another bill separately talking about all child support if it was gonna be an abortion Uh I feel like it should be a part of it because if you're talking about the that could be an amendment maybe that Motion to have a couple of questions. I motion. Who are you? I second. I second. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. What do you plan to do on the increasing number of unsafe abortions that happen as a result of this bill? Well, that I had in like the fine part. So if a doctor or physician performs an abortion, the doctor is fined and not the woman who got it because the woman could have not even known that it was wrong. So it's punishing the doctor who would know that they cannot get one. Okay, so what, would there be like any exceptions for uh, time during the pregnancy? Or would it be none at all? None at all unless it is threatening to the woman's life. Like, it, what, even if like, by the time like, they realize they're pregnant, they still can't get it? No, because if the baby has a heartbeat, that's a living life.